Now, your most accurate forecast from the First Coast News weather team, sponsored by AC Designs. Okay, forecasters, or at least those of you that like to do your own forecasting, listen up. Certainly, typically during the winter, we tend to look, or you can look to the west, see what's happening out around uh, New Orleans, the Arklatex, Texas, to see what's going to happen with our temperatures. However, with the next front, it's coming at us from the north, and so it's really the weather up here that's coming our way. But don't be too deceived by that, because you might say, well, cold air from the new north, does that mean another major freeze? No, because although certainly these are colder temperatures that we have, uh, what you really want to look at is how are those temperatures compared to normal. And 40 in Chicago at the end of January, 34 in International Falls, end of January, these temperatures are 20 degrees above normal. So once those temperatures make it on down here, uh, it's going to be chillier than what's happening out to the west. But this is not going to be crazy cold. In fact, even when that front comes through, we won't be any colder the next couple of days than we were during the day today. Seasonably cold this morning, seasonably mild during the afternoon. And it's going to come through dry. Although it has a lot of precipitation with it, the southern fringes of it will make it right about here. So maybe, just maybe, a sprinkle up around the Golden Isles, more likely from Savannah to the north. The next system, this will come here later Thursday and Friday, clouds with it, but it's very dry, so I don't expect it to produce any precipitation. However, once we get beyond Groundhog Day, this has a lot of moisture and energy. And so from Sunday through mid-next week, very interesting weather to say the least. But let's take it a day at a time. Let's take it an hour at a time. As we get through the evening hours and the sun sets, a pretty light breeze out there, really. Uh, the winds will begin to pick up at higher levels, bridge levels, top of the Douro levels. But for the rest of us and our children and our best friends and maybe our parents and grandparents as well, we probably won't feel the wind until about sunrise tomorrow. But as the winds shift, instead of coming out of the southwest, they come out of the northwest. So about noon tomorrow, lunchtime, it's going to get pretty gusty out there. I'm not talking about dangerous. But just for those of you that don't like it, when winds blow at 15, 25, 30 miles an hour, we're going to get those kind of gusts tomorrow. Then the winds will decrease on Thursday, but then come the clouds. But remember, that system is going to be a dry weather system. Here's another way to look at it. There's the winds picking up as that clipper goes on by. Winds diminish Thursday and Friday and Saturday. But then later on Saturday, major storm system over the Gulf, and that begins to head our way. So what's it all mean as we put it all together for you? Those gusty winds tomorrow decrease Thursday and Friday. Saturday looks bright at the bank on Sunday. Could get wet as we finish it. 